This is patient X. Their name cannot be stated due to confidentiality reasons. Patient X is a 28-year-old Native American female. She is currently experiencing shortness of breath, chest pains, and flu-like symptoms. Also, if you look closely, you will see that there are lesions on her arms and legs. Her blood pressure is about average at 119 over 79, and her temperature is 101.3, which is a little, little high, a little above normal. The doctor will now order an echocardiogram to see what is going on. It seems to be a heart defect. An echocardiograph machine is an instrument that in a painless and non-invasive manner employs the differential transmission and reflection of ultrasonic waves to image structural and functional abnormalities of the heart. A gel substance will be applied to the transducer and it acts as a conductor for the ultrasound waves. Ooh, what is that? That's endocarditis. Do you know what endocarditis is? Endo stands for in the. Card stands for the heart. Itis stands for inflammation. Therefore, endocarditis is simply inflammation in the heart. What you are currently looking at is a healthy beating heart. What is now being shown to you is a prolapse valve and it is prolapsed because of the vegetation on the left side. On the right is a healthy valve. As you can see, there's a difference between the abnormal blood flow and the healthy blood flow. The accumulating green stuff on the right side is the endocarditis bacteria. The bacteria then is easily spread throughout the rest of the body. This is an echocardiogram image of patient X's heart. Now keep that in mind. Now this is an echocardiogram image of a healthy heart. See the difference? I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have endocarditis. What happens now? And who do you think you are? Running around clogging hearts, collecting on my order, tearing valves apart. You're gonna catch a cold from the ice inside your cytoplasm. Don't come back for me I have antibiotics 